What's up legends? Welcome back to another video and I, I'm, if I look a bit tired it's because I didn't sleep yesterday. Today we are at Karagati. I filmed a few videos here. It's a supercar dealership uh, on the outskirts of Geneva and uh, I was chatting with them the other day and asking them, hey, do you have any cars you know that I could film uh, to, to show the audience? They're like, absolutely no problem. Uh, what do you think of an F12 TDF? Yes, absolutely. Thank you very much. Count me in. So I brought my friend Antoine here. I'm going to put his Instagram Yo. down below. And we have come for this beast. If I were to show you all the cars here, the, the video would be a documentary. But we have come for this F12 TDF. What a beauty. I have never driven one before. I am so so excited i was up watching all f12 tdf videos yesterday yeah i'm, I'm so pumped anyways we're going to start it up get it out of the dealership and take you on this adventure first step start up I feel like I'm going to be incapable of not filming every single moment of this experience. They're just cleaning up the windows and stuff here. But it's got this spec is so nice. This color, this light gray color is beautiful. The details like the fuel filler cap right here in aluminium which sticks out. I, I have a friend that had to replace this on this car and it was, I can't remember how much it was, but very expensive. TDF, this one's got carbon here, carbon here. On the rear diffuser, this uh, reverse light which is like on an F1 car basically. I really like these light silver wheels with the black calipers, of course, on standard carbon ceramics. You've got these air exits right here, which are so famous on the TDF. Look, we've got a standard F12 Berlinetta right here, and you can see without those exits, it does make quite the difference. It's cool, huh? So cool. Yeah, it's outrageous. It's incredible. The spec is so cool. Look, carbon yeah. side skirts. These, which are new as well for the TDF. TDF, of course, limited to 799 uh, produced. So the value of this is incomparable to the value of the Berlinetta, even though that's already a hugely expensive car. Yeah, no pressure. No pressure, Seb. Um, and then, yeah, just everything changes. The front bumper's completely changed. This one's got carbon all over the front bumper. Even the hood. Everything is, yeah, just bigger, better. And more impressive. But anyway, so let's hop in now. I thought about this. I was like, do I do try and come up with a high production uh, video which is going to take ages or should we just do a raw you live this experience with me and that's what we're going to do you're going to come on my head on my forehead as POV and I'm seeing this interior for the first time look Antoine's already inside living the life right at home but this interior is stunning so what do we have we've got carbon matte carbon all around the interior matte carbon's really nice it's, it's done so well on this I mean just the shape of this door right here to get something of this shape uh, in carbon is, is pretty outrageous. You got dark gray stitching, I guess, to go with the exterior, and black Alcantara all around. It's just a bath of carbon fiber. Look at this Alcantara all over the place, the Cavallino in, in gray as well. You hop inside, oh, even the carpets are Alcantara. Yeah. Aluminium pedals, um, yeah, Alcantara, oh, sorry, carbon fiber, matte carbon all over the place. The old style steering wheel, sport mode, we're gonna leave it in that. And then you got the lift here. Okay, that's good to know. Cameras, the two screens, classic to Ferrari. That's an option, actually, the black um, rev counter. And then carbon all over the place. Oh, you got the passenger display, that's cool. Yep. You got the passenger display right there. All right, oh God, okay. Not gonna lie, look, oh yes, <laughs> one of seven, nine. Nine. A little bit nervous with this car. It's quite intimidating, isn't it? Yeah. You guys are gonna, the camera's gonna go on my forehead and then, <sighs> yeah, I, haven't, I don't even know where we're going. Anyways, let's do this. You're gonna live my first impressions with me. Right, just need to adjust my seat. I like to sit nice and close. Manual, not electric, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Here we go. Lift. Put lift. Auto, no thank you. All right, here we go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so I'm leaving the lift up because that carbon front splitter 
is a little bit spooky, not gonna lie. Ah, uh, here, left. Okay, we're kind of Im improvising on where where we're going. Guys, I can't believe I'm driving a TDF. This is outrageous. Okay. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Me, Nick. My first impression, to be honest, is just that the steering is so direct and the suspension, it's like being on a skateboard. So hardcore and the car is just, yeah, it's pretty wide. Feels big, feels very intimidating. I'm not gonna lie, to drive. Gearbox feels pretty smooth. You've got your passenger display, which is yeah, pretty cool right there. Really cool. Yeah, but gearbox is instant, but the steering is so direct. I mean, all Ferraris are direct, but this is extreme. Yeah. And then I'm very aware. What do you think? We go straight? I think we go straight yeah, here. Straight. I'm very aware of the fact that I've got 780 horsepower straight to the, to the rear wheels. The noise, naturally aspirated V12. I really hope we're able to enjoy engines like this for a little while longer. I'm really not gonna push it to start with because this thing is a beast. The seats are comfy, they're very similar to the ones I've got in my Scuderia. Very comfortable, but pretty hard. I mean, you're aware that you're in the hardcore version. When you drive a F12 Berlinetta, it feels like a Grand Tourer. Oh, look at that, old Corvette. <laughs> very cool. Feels like a Grand Tourer, the normal uh, F12, whereas this, you're very aware that you're in a track variant. Huh. As soon as you switch down a gear. And I'm barely touching it. There's no one behind. Ready? <laughs> oh my god. Wow. You can feel that it's... Twitchy is the wrong word because that has a negative connotation, but it's very lively. And I feel like the rear tires could just leave me alone and let me sail alone at any moment. So oh, it's like you just want to to punch it, but you're scared that if you tickle it, it's going to bite your head off. Did that make any sense? I don't know, but wow, I'm really in love with the gearbox. Seven speed. Obviously, double clutch. The car is so long in front, it's like you, I can't really see where the front is. Tell you what, I would not enjoy parking this right yeah, now, like parallel parking this thing. No way. Oh, bus, breathe in. <laughs> wow, I'm just kind of taking this in, guys. I hope you enjoy kind of just coming along for this ride with me. I love the fact that you've got an analog rev counter. All the rest is digital and I can kind of like play around with different settings on this. So see, I can have my radio, media, navigation. If I put my navigation show map, that goes up on that screen. And then here I can have my tire pressure, tire temperature, my oil battery levels, all this stuff, my, all my temperatures. Yeah, I mean, it's not, difficult to drive slowly but it's intimidating to drive fast straight okay let's give it a go <laughs> Woo look at this i mean whoever thought we would be driving a country lane like this in the tdf what has the world come to this is outrageous Look around us, this is beautiful. Yeah, it's a really cool spot. Okay, let's see if we can find a little road which deviates, because I want to see it from the outside again in the sun. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, no! Oh, my. Okay. Okay. No stress. Everything's okay. <laughs> What's wrong? Alright. <laughs> there's a reverse camera, that's positive. While we're in the countryside and there's no one to wake up, I think we should make a little bit of noise. See what this thing I sounds like. I think so like. too, yeah. Right, so I might hand you this. Yeah. You know, you've got lots of cameras. If you want to take this one, I can put <laughs> this yeah. inside. Cheers. Alright. Here we go. Really? I get all, all the heat. <laughs> it sounds so good. Listen to this. <laughs> He's got to take his carpet because we're so paranoid in this car. Every and we're in Switzerland. Every time you get out of the car, your feet get a little bit dirty. <laughs> hey, well, how's it doing? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> all nice and clean. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, we want to get the car back in tip-top condition. But look, I was just looking around, show you a few buttons. These are your lights, obviously auto. But you've got electric wing mirrors, which, uh, you know, is normal in any car. But in lightweight cars, sometimes they'll get rid of that. This will um, control the left screen, but also your pit speed. That is your um, cruise control. Kind of cool that they call it pit speed. And this button I was playing with, it does the um, cameras. So see, if I press that, you get all sorts of different front cameras, everything like that. Oh, look at that, brand new. Brand Perfect. New. Uh, your lift, and then your aircon, like in uh, like in the Scud. This is for your radio, all that jazz. And then yeah, this little structure right here that was first launched, I believe, in the LaFerrari or in the Speciale. Comment down below if you know which one. And then your uh, cup holder, USB charger, and that's pretty much it. There's no glove box, which is kind of cool. All right, and then this display you can change it right now. It's in the mode where if I change the Manatino into race, see, that will change into race. But then you can press on the display button and it'll give you, you know, your revs and your gears. Uh, it'll give you 100, and that's the top speed that they've done on this trip, which wasn't us because five hours. I wish it was us, but unfortunately not. How are your feet? Yes? Yeah. I'm scared yeah, yeah. now. I don't yeah, want to I know, right? down. Yeah. Like, I was thinking of even, like, removing That's the problem the with a car with this value. <laughs> we didn't have a long time at all to film this video, so we actually have to head back already, but I thought I would just film on our way back. Tout droit? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Alright, straight. Here we go. Oh, no! No! Okay, the lights? How do I flash? Merci! Merci beaucoup. C'est très gentil. Merci. They really do look at you like, why is there a 12 year old with a GoPro in his head driving a TDF? Uh, straight? Yep, yep. Okay. Always straight. Look, we're testing the daily driver capabilities of the t TDF. So, I'm going to do something very brave and try race mode. The gears instantly change a little bit faster. We need to be pretty careful. Woohoo! License plate. Wow! Wow! It's a lot more violent now in race mode when you change gear. It feels like an, an, it just suddenly got really angry. <laughs> it like slaps your back. Yeah, it's, it really it's does. Violent. It's like bang. And when you change down, ready? Oh, feels more like the Scud uh, gear shift. Okay. What do I say? Right. Race 
race mode, uh, race mode, it definitely wants to have some fun. <laughs> it just it instantly, when you accelerate, it wants to bite your head off. I mean, you do not want to be tired driving this thing. You need to have your wits about you. God, that's yeah. outrageous. I'm going to put it in, in back in sport because race is pretty intense and we don't want to abuse of Karagati's kindness. Oh, we. Okay, 780 horsepower is not playing around. And what? Oh. You get used to the indicators here pretty quickly. Excuse moi coming through. Like these types of Ferraris, I think are my favorites. The front engine V12 hardcore versions, GTO, now the A12 Competizione, it's just come out. I haven't driven one yet, but yeah, now driving this, it's so cool because they're just so raw and kind of just they feel dangerous. And I quite <laughs> straight here. Uh, sorry, yeah, I think so. Yeah, 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 sorry. no problem. Um, and it feels like I don't know, there's just something so extreme about them and yet you have that classic Ferrari look, you got that Ferrari V12, wow look at this road, beautiful. Nice. Yeah, this is cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hello. Seventh gear, put the uh, bumpy road button on, there you go, and uh, I mean, okay. It's no daily, it's no proper cruiser, but you could, you know, do some GT driving in it, I guess. It's got that trick up its sleeve. I hope this experience has been immersive for you because the idea is, I mean, I feel so lucky to experience this and I just want it to feel for you guys like you're living it through my eyes. But yeah, what, we're, we're very lucky, aren't we, yeah, to yeah. be living this? This is outrageous. So special. Yeah. Wow, look at this. Wow. That's the great thing about... Are we going left here? Uh, no, no. Okay. 400 meters. The great thing about Geneva is you drive a couple minutes and you're out in the countryside. Mm -hmm. The only thing is you've got so much power in this car that you can't really push it too much on these roads. Right. Yeah. shift oh. Anyway, you change no, paddle you'll easy. you'll see the feel ready three two one go and again it's so pretty nice. cool yeah, right yeah, cool. solid feeling yeah. the uh, the carbon just feels so solid. I feel like people look at you in this car like, you know, nice. This is a, that's a classy car. They're not kind of looking at you in a, in a, in a bad way. Like who's that prick in a Ferrari? <laughs> in this one, they're like, oh, nice silver, classy front engine V12, beautiful noise. You know what I was telling myself? If I was just cruising and I saw a silver TDF like this drive by, I would 100% turn around and follow it and, and be in shock. Anyways, the adventure's basically over now, guys. We're arriving back at Karagati, sadly. 
I wish I could just keep it forever. <laughs> but with the market value of these things, well over half a million, I think. It's a uh, yeah, tricky one. There we go. Park. Park. On. Okay. <laughs> that was pretty special. Right. Uh, unfortunately, we need to give these bloody keys back. <laughs> Guys, what an experience. That was incredible. I mean, huge thank you to Karagati. I'm going to put their Instagram uh, on the screen or in the description and the way that, you know, we can thank them for allowing us to film this kind of video is by going to follow them. Uh, and then maybe we'll be able to test out some other cars because there's some seriously nice stuff in here. I don't have time today, I'm gonna need to run. I don't have time today, but I was thinking maybe a video which would, could be cool is showing you every single car in the dealership in detail, like the kilometers, everything. There's a Pagani, LaFerrari, everything. So let me know if that would interest you. Uh, if so, I'll, I'll try and put that together. But hope you're all well. Uh, please subscribe if you aren't already. It really helps out the channel. And I'll see you again soon. Cheers, bye-bye.